Hi, Pisces. Thank you for being here with me. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. What's in your energy today? What you should be aware of? Please write the time in the comment section. And thank you guys for doing that for me. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Okay, so you have high honor and then you have mature woman. Let's get one more here, spirits. And then you have family room. I feel like with family room here, it's like there's a discussion that needs to be had inside of your home. I'm seeing you as being a very, very honorable person, like looked up to, admired. It's like you stand in some type of position of power. And there's a family room here, but the family room is empty. There's no conversation taking place. But there's a conversation that needs to take place. Maybe it has taken place, but it's done no good. What does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Let's see, Pisces, let's see what your tarot cards are. Okay, so the first card you have is the Seven of Swords. There's someone here in your energy that's not being honest with the Seven of Swords showing up here as your very first card. You have the devil. This is Capricorn energy. Someone's keeping something from you. And then you have the Ten of Cups. This is family. Someone, someone that you consider family or a marriage. There's a Y here showing up, Pisces. And it's not like someone is just telling you a lie. It's like an ongoing energy, like a, a spiritual attack type of energy. What does Pisces need to know? The next card you have is the Ace of Rods. For some of you, this is a very sexual energy. That's not for everyone, but for some of you, it is. And then you have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. And then here you are, Pisces, the Queen of Cups. Death, Scorpio energy. And the Seven of Cups. And you have the world. On the bottom of the deck, Pisces, you have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Six of Pentacles. It's almost like you look like a robot here. Like, just giving. The hands are reaching out to you. You're giving. And it's become a very heavy burden I'm not sure what you're giving here, Pisces, but you're giving something here that is weighing you down. I see some type of spiritual attack going on here. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. You may be feeling very, very tired, um, like your energy is being drained. You have the Wheel of Fortune. 
See, it's an ongoing energy. Even with the Wheel of Fortune, it's telling me this is ongoing. This has been happening. It's almost like living a lie. Or you feel like you're living a lie. Tell me more about this ongoing energy here. So anyways, Pisces, I was telling you, you may be feeling very, very tired. You have the Queen of Pentacles showing up here. You have this energy where you're telling me with the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of what gender you are, um, you know, that you want some type of stability here. And you're facing this this energy, this devil energy, and it's it's like I see you seeing it, but you're not sure what to do with it. It's a, it's an energy here where it's showing up as the Ten of Cups. So this could be a marriage or someone in your home, but this is an energy vampire. You feel like it's like there's a fly right there buzzing around in your head. Like someone here has overtaken your thoughts, your mind. Clarify this. See, even here, the Eight of Swords is here. It's like you feel blindfolded. You feel stuck. These swords are your thoughts. You keep having repeated thoughts. You may, even when you're sleeping, you may feel like you're having this interrupted sleep. Tell me why the devil is here. You may feel tired a lot, but you can't sleep. See, there's this feeling of... This doesn't have to be for everyone. But for someone... There's someone here that is financially draining you with all of these pentacles. But that's not for everyone. There's this feeling of... You know, like, just waiting for something to happen that could you could view as being quite devastating if things continue the way they are. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. This may, this energy, you may be getting headaches. Or pains in your body. Um, tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Swords is here. This is, you know, like a doctor, a lawyer. This can be illness. This can be... Um, financial so it's going to be different for all of you guys but the devil energy seems to be at this energy vampire tell me why the ten of cups is here this energy the ten of cups is what makes you feel stuck because you have a belief system here with the Hierophant in the center of your energy you have this belief system you know that there's some type of a commitment here and so it's leaving you feeling stuck it's leaving you doubting your own mind you know it's like, am I destroying something here? Emotionally destroying something here that is good? 
but it's not. It's a toxic situation. Tell me why the Two of Wands is here. You know, you know, the hanged man is Pisces energy. That's you. You know you're in a very uncomfortable position right now as you're watching this reading whenever you're watching it. And it's almost like you're just waiting for something to happen. Okay. The next card you have is the Ace of Wands. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. Oops, that card has the... Okay, so we have the Star, which is Aquarius energy, and the Ace of Wands. And you have the Ace of Pentacles here. You feel vulnerable with the Star. This person on the Star card, they're naked, which is why I just had to hurry and cover up the card. Um, you're trying to heal and you're trying to heal yourself. I'm seeing you as being very spiritual and, um, you're feeling vulnerable about what you're giving here to a situation, which is this commitment It's like you're wanting to handle it a certain way so that no one gets hurt. Tell me why the Hierophant is here. You have the Page of Rods. The Magician. And the Empress. Taurus energy. You come up with with ideas here, you know, of what life could be like outside of this this situation. You come up with ideas. Um, you're an empress here. You're manning. You're. You're in this manifestation energy, but the manifestations, they don't get past the thought, okay? And it's because of love. The Queen of Cups is here. You're not the type of person that's just going to go and abandon someone. And so you're... You're, you stand here. You stand here until the end. Look at the tower showing up. Something's about ready to happen here, Pisces, with you handing over your cup of love out of emotions, your kindness... And the commitment that you feel to this energy, something's going to happen that you're not expecting. You have a tower here, and this could be in your mind where I just can't do this anymore. Or it could be in your 3D world, but we'll see when we look into the future. You have the Hermit Virgo energy, and that's why I'm saying this could be in your mind. Um, this tower moment, this epiphany moment, a, a life-changing moment. Because with the hermit, this is someone who's going deep within their soul. Soul searching here. Separating yourself from someone here that may be a younger energy than you. You have the knight of rods there. It's like you're shining your light on someone here in your energy. You're backing up. You're being quiet and looking. And something here is coming to an end. It's the end of the road.
tell me why death is here. What is ending? Okay, so we have the lovers. That is Gemini energy, the lovers, and the death card is Scorpio energy. There's something here about a division, a separation with you and the walk with the devil. Tell me why the Seven of Cups is here. This person that that is this energy vampire, Pisces, they leave you with a lot of confusion here with the Seven of Cups. And this King of Rods, this is someone determined to get what they want. And I even see like, it looks like devil horns right there. But they're determined here to get what they want. And what they want, they may not even realize it, but they want this conflict. It's like energy is a big deal in this person's energy. Um, they're putting it into your life. All right. We all have energy and them being involved with you. It's creating this craziness. You have the Four of Pentacles and you have the Nine of Swords. So I see you holding back here and really, really up in your head, all right, about some type of an argument or a conflict taking place after an ending, a choice to end things. And then you have the world. So this is something coming full circle. It's done. It's over. Why is the world here? The Emperor, Aries Energy. The Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I see there's Cancer Energy here with the Chariot too. But I see you receiving messages here from someone that loves you, okay? This could be a family member. It's an outside energy. And I'm seeing here that you could have had a conversation with this person already. And um, they... They give you their point of view from the outside looking in. This person, they may be at a distance from you. But I'm seeing here in the future energy that something's going to happen. There's an ending taking place here. And I see messages going back and forth. And you have Aries energy here with the Emperor. There's someone here that I see you um, discussing this with without being in the family room. Probably over the phone or text messages here. Um, someone here that I see you coming together with. And whoever this person is, you know this is someone that you can trust. This may be someone that's older than you or they act very, very um, wise. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. How did you pick all of this weight up? The High Priestess. This is you, Pisces. It's a spiritual attack. Four of Swords is here. You have the Four of Wands. Two fours. You are on the right path here. Eleven, eleven. I'm on the right path. I'm keeping to myself. 
I'm spiritual. I'm keeping to myself. But what you're hiding behind the veil is the Ten of Wands. Something here that is much more than you've put into words to anyone. And then you have the Six of Pentacles showing up here. Tell me why the Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this this devil energy, it's someone that breadcrumbs you, Pisces. You may feel like this person's very inconsistent. The King of Cups and the Six of Cups. This is a soul connection. It's also twin flame energy here. Um, the King and the Queen of Cups are here. You were put in a position here when you met this person. Like you were meant to meet whoever this is that is showing up as spiritually draining to you um you were meant to meet this person for a specific lesson and the lesson has been learned and it is now time for you to move on all right let me look at this energy right here and get one more card for it tell me why this energy is here strength Leo energy you have the strength all right and you carry this sword all right to be able to cut things out of your life that no longer that no longer serve you you know you have the wisdom too with the ace of swords and spirits are telling you that you're very mature here. You have a lot of honor. You you care about um, commitments that you have in your life. And you're not someone who just flakes on someone. But it's like your intuition is telling you that something here is not right. And it's completely wrong. It's a it's a spiritual attack. And this is it's not just you know hitting you. I feel like it's hitting the person here <coughs> in some type of way. Because it's gonna hit this person because when you leave this person, whoever this person is they have been like draining off of your energy for quite some time now and so they're going to have to find their own way back up off the ground again tell me what pisces needs to know Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic love life. This person, they may have an addiction, Pisces. All right. But there's codependency here. Um, this person is depending on you for something. Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you guys for hitting the like button and supporting the channel and thank you for your donations to the channel and for just being here with me and we will meet back here again tomorrow pisces take care of you all right and then everything else will fall into place i love you guys pisces namaste